Hi guys, this is Dr. Mansi Singhal. Today we are going to talk about MBBS abroad. Now, whether this is a good option or not, before we begin, I know this is a very appealing thing to think of that you're going outside, all the international exposure you're going to get, but then there are some things that you need to consider before making a decision. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about why is it relevant to even talk about MBBS abroad versus MBBS in India. So the main difference is NMC, which is the National Medical Council, formerly called as MCI. So NMC is the main body that really recognizes every medical college in India. If you do go for MBBS abroad, make sure that the college is affiliated to NMC because without that, your degree will really be a bunch of papers for the NMC and so uh, your registration to practice as a doctor in India depends on this affiliation of your college wherever you are. Once you get your affiliation from the college and your degree from the university then you can register with the NMC uh, with permanent registration to be practicing doctor in India. Once you do your MBBS outside India to come back to India and practice as a doctor you will need to sit for an exam which is called as FMGE. Now this FMGE exam is really uh, something of a liability for a lot of students because when you really go for the idea of MBBS abroad it sounds appealing because uh, you know you get to go to another country and spend your four or five years there but then when the idea of really taking an additional exam in addition to taking NEET PG which is the exam for specialization in India when it dawns on students that you have to go for two exams for that then it really becomes a decision that needs a lot of thinking over. When you are in 11th or 12th and you are thinking of doing MBBS, the idea of going abroad is the most exciting one because you get to have international exposure, which is a very good thing. And not to discourage anyone about it, the points that I'm mentioning are actually the ones that have to be rationally considered before making a decision. Another thing to consider before moving abroad for MBBS is the budget. Now, contrary to a lot of students thinking that it might be a very expensive affair, it's actually quite affordable to go outside for MBBS because compared to private medical colleges it's actually very affordable <laughs> so the fees is not as much and overall your expenditure of the whole course is going to be uh, figuratively less as compared to if you go for MBBS in a private college in India obviously it's not as less as government college which is I guess not something you should expect anyway but then again uh, it is not that expensive my point is it's a good thing uh, for those who also have the budget factor to look into and who cannot afford uh, the private colleges in India which are super expensive so for people where budget is an issue and you know that you cannot go into a private college or you don't want to drop MBBS abroad is not a super bad option but then again do consider the fact that it should be NMC approved whatever college you choose now another thing is uh, which is sort of a negative point is the lack of clinical exposure when you go outside so India is a subtropical country a developing country where we have a lot of diseases that might not be endemic to a lot of regions where you go to do your MBBS so if you really go to a country where uh, tuberculosis, for example, is not a big problem. You're not going to see cases in your final year of MBBS. And if you don't see the cases clinically, you're not going to have that solid foundation that you need for a lot of diseases, which is sort of a negative point. So this is something that a lot of foreign graduates lack out on, the clinical experience during your internship, during your final year, even though you do have to do your internship again back in India when you come back. This is actually one of the reasons why you have to go for that. So yes, it might be seen as a negative thing that you do not get exposed to the relevant cases from the first year itself which is possible only when you do your MBBS in India. Good news for those who are actually inclining towards MBBS abroad is that FMGE exam is not going to be a long-term thing. For future this exam may not be a criteria for you to really come back and then appear for NEET PG or to be registered to the MCI. A positive change is going to be the next exam. So next is the national exit test and earlier it was said that it was supposed to be from 2023 but then obviously they extended it to whenever it's going to happen nobody knows so uh, when next happens now that's going to be a common platform for every graduate of MBBS whether you have done it from abroad whether you've done it in India so you are going to be on the same level and you're going to be tested on the basis of that exam which is going to be a multi-step examination so then it's uh, going to be a lot like postgraduate exam of foreign countries so India is really in the queue of following that this is a good thing for people who have done their MBBS abroad because a they don't have to go for FMGE which is an additional exam only for foreign medical graduates exclusively they will be on the same platform as people who have done their MBBS in India and secondly you won't have to uh, prepare for something separately from NEET PG so your 
specialization will also be taken care of along with the registration that you will get to practice as a doctor in India. So these are the good changes that might be coming for people who are doing their MBBS abroad, which is I think a way of encouragement. Politically, it has been pushed that people should be encouraged to pursue their choice of course in other countries as well. All in all, the point of this video was to really make you aware of all the things that are needed to be considered before actually making that decision. So whether good, whether bad, all of these points have to be considered before you move abroad and if you do make the decision i wish you the very best and if you don't make the decision then also wish you the very best in any case i hope this video helped you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel meet mavericks down below and thank you for watching i will see you guys next time bye bye take care